Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lichero and welcome to my first video what will be a beginner's guide to XCOM Enemy Unknown. The game became quite popular again given that in the Steam Summer Sale it was top seller a lot of times and it's currently free for PlayStation Plus subscribers. Let's see our initial options. For beginners I recommend normal difficulty setting because the difference between normal, classic and impossible are quite huge especially in the early game, advanced options. The tutorial is not your standard tutorial level, it affects the whole playthrough, limiting you in building choices and rushing the story. This is not fun in my opinion. Iron Man automatically saves after every single move you make. So for example, if your favorite soldier is dead, it stays that way, you can't reload the game. Second wave. Well, I don't have here too many options, I mainly played the game on the PlayStation, but second wave options are either making the game harder or more random. So for beginners, let's just forget about them and let's start a new game on normal difficulty. Here will come an introduction video, but I will skip that. And here is our first choice, which continent to start on. Let's run through the bonuses quickly. North America. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase, build and maintain. This is a pretty solid bonus because interceptors are always needed to shoot down the UFOs. Moving on to Europe. Laboratories and workshops has 50% less to build, in, build, maintain. This is quite a weak bonus in my opinion because laboratories you don't really have to build only if you want the achievement. Workshops you will build but they are not so expensive to make Europe a beneficial starting continent. Asia. Asia is one of the best bonuses in my opinion. All projects in the foundry and in the officer training school cost 50% less. You will find in the foundry really really a lot of projects and to pay 50% less it's always really great. South America. As I was a beginner this bonus looked quite appealing but as I realized that the autopsies and the interrogations are done in one or two days this doesn't make a big difference. Africa. Africa has a really great bonus as well as Asia. Monthly XCOM founding increased by 30% so essentially you will get more money to work with. Let's start a new game in Asia. Here is a little briefing session. It will only tell which type of mission you are on. So first time you do a mission, terror mission for example, or abduction, council mission, it's worth to read through, but otherwise it's no new information. Strike one. This is central. Let's see the interface real quick. But you have to realize that there is no given soldier rotation. So this soldier is not the soldier I have to begin with. Press the tab on the PC or L1 R1 on the PlayStation to cycle through your soldiers. Second, you have two action bars to work with each turn. If you move into this blue area, it costs one action points. But you can also dash into the yellow area, but it will consume all your action points and you won't be able to do anything with that soldier in that turn. Second thing is the cover system. There are two types of covers. Full cover, which gives 40 defense, and half cover, which gives 20 defense. Defense means, 40 defense for example, that the aliens have 40% lesser chance to hit you. The other thing, because the fights can get quite chaotic, you can rotate the camera to get a better view. Alright, let's get moving. On the first turn, generally, it's a good idea not to trigger any aliens. I did anyway, but that's not a problem, these are only two sectoids. And what you have to know is that the aliens, when they are triggered, they can't shoot at you, they will only move into a designated location and wait for their turn. So, let's just move our soldiers into position. Right here. 
you can actually dash. I'm not recommending half cover, but given that it's normal difficulty, the aliens can't one-shot you. And at this point they don't see me, so they have to move in order to be able to do something. So let's see our options after moving. We have Overwatch, which means that if the aliens are moving close enough, I get a free shot, which uh, is not going to consume any action points. So let's just make our soldiers on Overwatch. The other two options, Frag Grenade. Frag Grenade is either good to kill the aliens, or you can destroy the cover as well. I will demonstrate it if I get the chance. And our last option is Hunker Down, which doubles the cover bonus and makes you immune to critical hits. But because the aliens are really far away, it's better to stay on Overwatch. But be aware that Overwatch has an aim penalty. Right now, one sectoid buffed the other one. See, we get a reaction shot, which missed because of the aim penalty. So, one sectoid buffed the other one. It means that this sectoid will get an aim bonus, a critical hit chance bonus, and one extra health. Alright, the other group. Actually, I believe these are all the aliens in the map. We just triggered them, this was a patrol. Bear in mind that in this game, some groups of aliens will patrol. So don't rush. It's a good advice in general not to rush this game. Let's see whom we can shot. 45% because he's pretty far away and he's in half cover. But let's take our chances anyway. And he's down. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. Yes, Dr. Valen explains here that if that we shoot the aliens instead of blowing weapons. them up with a grenade or a rocket launcher, we will get weapon fragments, which we can later on research. But if you are in a sticky situation, don't be afraid to use explosives, because your soldiers' lives are worth more than the weapon fragments, which you will get anyway quite a lot. Let's take again our chances, but it's a miss. I believe it would have been a better choice to just hunker down with her, given that she doesn't have too much health points left. Hmm. I don't want to move here, because then the other aliens will flank me, definitely. And flanking gets a critical chance bonus, so let's just move here. I know it's half cover. I can't shoot even from here. Well, let's just put her on overwatch then. Again, reaction shot. And again, a miss. Let's see what he will do. He moves twice. And now I'm flanking him. He's flanking somebody. Well, this is quite bad. But he missed. I got quite lucky there, actually. Let's see the other alien. He missed as well. Alright. I should be able to clear them in this turn. Let's just kill this alien because... Because of the proximity, I have 96% chance to hit him and 60% chance to crit. So this will be a guaranteed kill. Alright. There are two more sectoids. Let's just move up with him to full cover. And let's... Do I have other soldiers to work with? Maybe I can clear the cover. Yes, I can definitely clear the cover with a grenade if I'm in range. See the grenade blast radius. I will throw it so it only destroys the cover. And now, I have 65% chance to hit. Just don't miss. Awesome, he is down. One more sectoid left. Do I have here a hard cover? I believe from here I won't be able to shoot. But let's just be safe. 
And I'm still be able to shoot. Let's take the chance. And he's down. And actually the mission is done. It was quite fast. I took an unnecessary shot, but my soldier didn't die, so... I take it any time. So, four soldiers got promotion. I never saw something like that. Normally, usually three. Just Let's like see our promotions. Support class. Provides support class. I really like the support class. They make everyone around them better. This what you see here are, is the talent tree. But the first talent we don't have a, a choice actually to make. We get an ability automatically, which is smoke grenade in case of a support. A smoke grenade, if you throw it on the team, gives plus 20 de defense, which means 20% chance less for the aliens to actually hit you. Let's move on. A sniper. A sniper is pretty straightforward. You get a headshot ability. It's a normal shot, but it has 30% chance more to critically hit. The heavy weapon specialist provides a the heavy. service to the, the heavy is a really useful the soldier. The, the first ability is to fire a rocket. You can do the same trick I showed you before to destroy a huge amount of cover, or you can use it to kill the aliens. It does guaranteed six damage if it hits, of course. The assault class serves as and we got an assault. The first one Run and gun is a pretty good tra out. tactical ability. As I mentioned earlier, you have two action points to work with, but if you activate run and gun, you can go into dashing range and then take a shot. This is a great tactical ability. I will demonstrate these skills on the next mission, of course. The recovered artifacts are being there are three new researchers available, we'll get started and we recovered four sectoid corpses and eight weapon fragments. Let's go to the research lab and start our first research. Xenobiology is a story progressing research. I don't recommend doing it on the first time. Weapon fragments and alien materials. Alien materials leads you to carapace armor, which will give more health to your soldier. Of course, not directly leads to carapace armor. First, you will get nanofiber vest, which is an equipable item, and it gives more health to your soldiers. Weapon fragments gives you a scope when equipped it Command increases the aim of your soldier by 10 percent it was option. a misclick we'll begin immediately. I, will notify you when I you didn't want to start available. with uh, weapon fragments but i guess it's normal it's okay we will get a scope let's go to engineering here we can build facilities or buy items because we got the support, I recommend buying a med kit. With the med kit, you can heal your wounded soldiers, or if somebody is bleeding out, you can stabilize them. And here you can build a satellite. On normal difficulty, you get a satellite for free, but on harder difficulties, I don't recommend building it just yet, because on the first abduction mission, we will choose the engineer bonus. I will explain this later. Let's see our base structure. As you can see, I got pretty lucky here. I can build everywhere. Otherwise, you have to excavate these places in order to build there. Let's build an access lift. It will take five days. On normal, you get an officer training school for free. This is not the case on classic or impossible. Let's see the barracks. Here you can hire soldiers if you are running low. But bear in mind that they require three days to arrive to your base. Here's the officer training school. As you can see, these prices are already halved, but I can't access them because my soldiers are too low level. For example, squad size one, I can buy when one of my soldiers reads the sergeant rank. This will all Commander be explained later control. on. Here you can view your soldiers. Let's click on one. Here you can personalize the loadouts, armor, weapon, and the equipable item. This is a heavy, he's not gonna get a mat kit. Let's just put our mat kit on the support, he will definitely need it. 
and here you can customize your soldiers I like to give them different armor decos so I know instantly uh, which kind of class I'm dealing with at the moment and that's about it for my first video I appreciate your attention and see you next time